What's up guys? So today we're gonna to be doing a small project on the exterior of the car. But in order to do that project, we need to actually come to the inside of the car. So we're actually gonna be wrapping the top of the roof up here. Um, I would also like to wrap the antenna. In order to do that, we need to take it off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the factory antenna, and then we're gonna wrap the roof. So it all starts inside the vehicle. Let me show you how to do it. So the very first thing that we want to do is we need to actually take off the handles from both sides of the headliner. So in order to do that, there are plastic covers that actually cover up the clips that we need to remove in order to pull this handle off. Okay, so you're gonna notice, don't, mind, don't notice the dust, um, but there are small little holes here on each side um, we're gonna take a pick tool. We are going to pull these little covers off of each side. And then I'm gonna show you what uh, what's inside here that helps keep this handle in place. So let's start by removing these plastic covers. Um, I'm gonna do side one to show you how to do it. I'll do side two off camera. And then uh, I'll show you the rest of the process. All right guys, so as you can see, I've already started to pry this little piece off here. Um, when you pull it out, this is how it fits. So it actually goes inside of this little metal clip right here, almost like a USB would. So you're gonna pull that out. And then on each side, these little metal tabs, they're gonna go inwards. So we're gonna collapse them together and then this will pull off. So let me get to this side and then I'll show you exactly how to remove that. All right guys, so now that we have both sides off. Let me show you how we get it unclipped. So if you look at my needle nose pliers, you are going to push these two in and it removes out. Okay, so notice when I have that in there, when I squeeze, the clip compresses itself on the back end, almost like a little puppet mouth. Um, you compress those two, pull it out. So we're gonna do the opposite side. So compress them in. Compress them in, pull out. And that's what you're gonna be looking at right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other side off camera. And then I'm gonna show you how to pull the plastics away from this section right here. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the two clips here in the back with a pry tool. She's just gonna stick it in there, pull it out. You're good to go. Let's get the other side now. Okay, so both of those are out. Um, and we also want to pop off this light cover here. Um, so you'll find around the edge that there's a little indention here that you can stick a tool in, pop this light off, and we'll show you how to do it. So again, we're gonna be using our handy dandy pick tool. Notice how it has small little edges. All you wanna do is just pull it back, slide it out, um, we then have these two bolts that hold this into place. So let's go ahead and get those removed. All right guys, so in order to get it off, it is either a Phillips or you can use an eight millimeter socket, which is what I'm gonna do. right here should actually fall down now. There you go. And then there's gonna be a harness in the back that we wanna take out, which is this guy right here. So, 
judging by the look of it, it's just this edge right here. Um, I'm gonna take it off off camera because I need two hands. So let me go ahead and take it off. You press this clip right here and it slides right out. Um, now one thing I did notice is that Honda actually used electrical tape and they wrapped it around what looks to be basically like a little clip that would attach to the outside of this. So you have two options. You can either take this clip off like I was about to do. Um, I have yet to figure out how to take that off. What I'm gonna do is end up just slicing the electrical tape. And then when I put it back together, you can either plug it in like so, or you can rewrap the tape around it. Um, I am actually going to just cut the tape right there. It's so much easier to do that. Um, let me cut it real quick. I'll come right back to you. So after doing a little bit of digging here, um, it looks like the best way to go about this so that you're not ruining your headliner is to actually remove the plastic pieces. Um, now, you can actually remove this little airbag piece right here that says SRS airbag on it. Um, as you can see right here, this pops off. Um, what I actually did just to give us a little bit more viewing room is you can see there's a clip right behind it. Um, and all I did was push the plastic up so I could slide it off the clip and get a better look here. All right guys, so it's starting to come off right now. Um, as you can see here on the inside, this makes a connection point with, let's see if we can get some light in there, with inside of here. So in order to get it off, you're gonna have to kind of depress it backwards. And the same thing with this piece of plastic right here. Um, let, me, let me see if I can pull it out. So after giving this panel a thorough inspection, these green ones are actually normal clips, okay? So it's actually this piece right here, which was behind that little airbag symbol. So you pop that off and you can get whatever you want. Whatever is gonna be the size of this, maybe um, like a screwdriver point, obviously minus, you know, this piece right there. But something that's blunt that you can stick into this. And what ends up happening is this piece is in there like that. Once you hammer it flat, what it does is it engages the barbs and it's able to pull itself free. Now you do need to reset this in order to get it back in. So what's gonna end up happening is um, we are going to remove this black piece from the white clip. All right guys, so after a lot of trial and error, this is what I figured out. So as you can see here, this thing almost looks like a little rocket. Um, I scuffed up the plastic quite a bit, just trying to figure out the best way to get it off. Um, but ultimately what you can do is you can bend these little clips back as you can see there. Um, they're super pliable, so don't worry about breaking them. Um, bend them as far back as you can, like so. And what ends up happening is, whenever you hammer this together in order to get it out, see these little, see these little like white ridges right here on it? So those actually become stuck on the inside. It's almost like a wedge. Um, and the only way to get it off is to, of course, like I said, pillies back so that they don't get stuck right here on these little inner barbs right here. Um, and then all I did was I took a pair of needle nose pliers and I held that intersection like that as hard as I could. And then I tapped the top part until it finally just popped off. Now keep in mind, like I said, keep these pulled back, you're good to go. Um, I'm going to Put this back in the vehicle like so and then this is going to sit back in there like that so my original plan was to leave them separate you can't do that um, so it's gonna go in there like this this will pop into place inside the car and then I'm gonna all I'm gonna do at that point is just push this in a couple of times like so so you hear that click and then those will extend out even more, we'll be good to go. So that's all you have to do. And then like I said, in order to get it off, pry those back and then it'll slide right out. So there's connection points that align up with the plastics right there in the back. And in order to get it, you have to kind of push inwards and then up, if that makes sense. So you're gonna push in and then up and they should pop out. That's one solid piece right there, which exposes all of your wiring, your antennas up here. And more importantly, now we have quite a bit of flexibility in this. 
Um, and, and of course, we remove that handle. Now technically, from the way that I'm looking at this, um, you may only need to remove one side because this side over here is not flexing at all. So if you can only remove one side and then get access to that bolt back there, that's fantastic. Um, let me see if I can keep this pulled down and see if I can capture any footage from outside of the vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly where it's at. So headliner's down, pulling off some of the Mylar tape. If we look in the back there, that bolt right there is what is holding on your antenna, as you can see. So let me figure out what socket I need, and then I'm gonna come back to you and see if we can get that off, off camera. There's a small plastic clip that goes up into there. Um, now what I did was I noticed that it popped off whenever I applied some sideways pressure to this. As you can see, it now, you can now remove it. Um, now in order to remove this off the vehicle, we need to take the wiring harness and unclip it from over here on this side. So I'm gonna clip all the wires. So I'm gonna show you where they're at and then we're gonna pull the antenna through the car and off. All right, guys, so if you look at the wiring harness itself that comes from the top of the roof, it actually runs down along the side of this uh, back window here. And there's just small little plastic clips that keep it in place that look identical to this one right here. Um, and all you gotta do is pull down this plastic piece. See how it unclips? pull that down and it allows you to pull the wire out. Now, one of the cables is actually in this little box right here. So you simply have to depress this back end on top and it slides out and the other piece goes into the trunk. So let's figure out where the hell that goes. So what I did was I lowered both seats. I pulled this back away um, the seatbelt panel, which is super dirty. Uh, this also just pulls kind of away. Basically what you have to do is get this speaker cover up. And then when you do, see this little silver box right here? This is the wire that we need to get out. Okay, so you just reach your hand back there and sorry, it's pretty terrible video quality at this point. <laughs> and that comes undone. So in order to get it undone, you just squeeze in and it pulls out. So this goes in the box right here. There's only one plug on this side and it goes right there. So now that we have that done, we can now pull this harness out okay now again keep in mind on this top side you've got tape and like little brackets holding this in place so you just want to pull those off and you can kind of see the tape is mounted to that. So you just wanna pull that off at each location, or you can cut it off, your, your choice, whatever is easier for you. And then uh, we'll go from there. So let me pull this off and I'll show you what it looks like to get it out of the top. So, this, this should just continue to pull through. Get out one harness. 
furnace at a time. And bingo. That is how you remove the antenna. So I'm probably gonna leave it right there because that was a ton of video that we just shot. Um, watch the next video because it's gonna be the install of the vinyl wrap top. And uh, installation of this is just reverse. Okay, so you just feed it back through, run your, your cables along the top of this, plug it back in to the box behind there. Once it's plugged in, plug the other wire into the box right there and then it's just reassembling your interior. So that's it guys, that's the end of the video. Um, I'm not gonna show you the reverse installation of it, just do everything that we did on the way back. Uh, I'm sorry, on the, way, on the way to pulling this off and uh, you'll be good to go. Now the next video, uh, just because I spent so much time doing this, is gonna be the wrap, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to um, that video here shortly. This one will be up online for you to view. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, once again, this is Fahrenheit Motorsports. You guys appreciate you uh, quite a bit for watching these videos. Um, that's it guys. Take it easy.